Ordinary and Simple Annuity In this video, we are going to discuss on present value of the annuity. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to determine the amount of an annuity of future value, the present value, the regular of periodic payment, the total interest, and solving the problem involving mixed compound interest and annuity. But in this video, we are going to focus on determine the present value, the regular of periodic payment, the total interest, and solving the problem involving mixed compound interest and annuity. Present value of the annuity, denoted as A. So what is the present value of an annuity? The present value of an annuity is the sum of the present value of all payment. It represents the amount that must be invested now to purchase the payment due in the future. In other words, the present value of an annuity is the accumulated value of the periodic payment at the time zero. The method for computing the present value are based on the following time scale. We are going to use the formula S equal to P1 plus I to the power of N. But R here represent S. Okay? So since R represent S, so we have R equal to P1 plus I to the power of N. Therefore, P equal to R over 1 plus I to the power of N or P equal to R 1 plus I to the power of negative N. So N here represent the terms. Okay, so this is all our P. Okay, so the accumulated amount at the time 0 will be A. Okay. Adding all the present values of each payment R, we have A equal to R1 plus I to the power of negative 1 plus R1 plus I to the power of negative 2 plus R1 plus I to the power of negative 3 and so on. Again, this is the sum of n terms in the geometric sequence. So after reforming some simple algebra, we will obtain the present value formula A equal to R 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I. So the interest earned for the present value of an annuity I is given by R times N minus A, where I is the interest earned, A is the present value of annuity. Let us look at the first example. How much money must be invested now at an interest rate of 4% compounded quarterly so that the withdrawal of RM100 can be made every 3 months for 5 years to come? So list down all the information given. So here we have R equal to 100, M equal to 4, J equal to 0 0.04, T equal to 5, therefore I equal to 0 0.04 over 4, N equal to 5 times 4 equals 20. Okay, A, the present value is given by the formula R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I. So substitute all the values, R equal to 100, 1 minus 1 plus I equal to 0 
0, 4 over 4 to the power of negative n equal to 20 over 0, 0.04 over 4. Therefore, A equal to Rm 1804.56. Okay, next example. Determine the present value for an NUT of Rm 300 for every 6 months for a period of 15.5 years at an interest rate of 8% compounded half yearly. So compounded half yearly means M equal to 2. So list down all the information. R equal to 300. M equal to 2. T equal to 15.5. J equal to 0. 0, 0.08. Therefore, I equal to 0. 0, 0.08 over 2. N equal to 2 times 15.5. A is given by the formula R times 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n divided by i. So substitute all the values. r equal to 300. 1 minus 1 plus i is 0 0.08 over 2 to the power of negative 2 times 15.5 is 31 over 0 0.08 over 2. So simplify and then we have the value for A is RM 5276.55. For this example, find the amount and present value of an annuity of 500 every 6 months for 10 and a half years if money is worth 7% compounded semi-annually. So we have two questions here to find the future amount and also the present value for an annuity. So list down all the given information. R equal to 500. M equal to 2. T equal to 10.5. Okay, and J equal to 0 0.07. Therefore, I equal to 0 0.07 over 2. N equal to 2 times 10.5. For the first question, to find S, the future value, the formula is R times 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i. So substitute the value. r equal to 500. 1 plus i 0 0.07 over 2 to the power of 2 times 10.5 is 21 minus 1 over 0 0.07 over 2. So S equal to RM 15,134.74. For the second question to find the present value, A is given by the formula R 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I. So substitute all the values, R equal to 500, 1 minus 1 plus I 0 0.07 over 2 to the power of negative 21 over 0 0.07 over 2. Therefore, the present value is RM 15,134.74.
7,348.99 For this example, in discharging a debt of 19,000 with interest rate of 7% compounded quarterly, Amin agrees to make equal payment every three months. The first due in three months and the last due in eight years. So find the value of this equal payment. So what we are going to find here is the equal payment. Okay, the R. Okay, so list down all the information. We have A, the present value equal to 19,000. Interest rate, J is 0 0.07. Compounded quarterly, so M equal to 4. And T equal to 8 years. Therefore, I equal to 0 0.07 over 4 and equal to 4 times 8, 32. Okay, so the formula A equal to R, 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I. Okay, so here A equal to 19,000. R that we are going to find 1 minus 1 plus I 0 0.07 over 4 to the power of negative N so negative 32 here over 0 0.07 over 4 therefore R equal to Rm 780N48 Okay, next example. In order to save for her retirement in 20 years' time, Mrs. Joseph invests 100 monthly in an account that pays an interest rate of 6% per annum compounded monthly. On retirement, she wished to withdraw a fixed amount of money every month for 25 years by putting her money in an annuity that pays an interest rate of 8% per annum compounded monthly. So calculate the fixed amount. Okay, so for this question, we have two cases. The first case, okay, case 1, and this is the second case, case 2. For case 1, R equal to 100 J equal to 0 0.06 compounded monthly M equal to 12 and T equal to 20 years. So for case 1, we have to find the future value. So S for case 1, S equal to R 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i. Okay, so r here is 100. 1 plus i is 0 0.06 over 12 to the power of 12 times 20 minus 1 over 0 0.06 over 12. So S here is RM 40, 46,204.09. So the future value for case 1 will be the present value for case 2. So for case 2, A equal to R, 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N over I. So A equal to future value for case number 1. 
So we substitute 46,204 and 09 equal to R, the fixed value that we want to find, times 1 minus 1 plus I is 0 0.08 over 12 compounded monthly to the power of negative 12 times 25 years over 0 0.08 over 12. Therefore, R equal to RM 356.7. So the fixed amount that Mrs. Joseph can withdraw every month for 25 years is 356 and 61 cents. Next example, Rudy buys a land for 110,000. He makes 20% down payment and the balance he takes a loan for 25 years that charge an annual interest rate of 5% compounded monthly. Find the monthly payment and the total amount of interest that will be paid. So here, list down all the information. So information A, the amount that Rudy takes a loan is 80% of 110,000. So 80% of 110,000 which equal to 88,000 and then the interest rate J is 0 0.05 compounded monthly M equal to 12 and he takes a loan for 25 years so T equal to 25. Okay, therefore, I equal to 0 0.05 over 12 and equal to 12 times 25. All right, for question A, the monthly payment. So, R, we are going to find the value for R. A equal to R. 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n over i. So substitute all the values. A equal to 88,000. R, we are going to find R. 1 minus 1 plus i, 0 0.05 over 12 to the power of negative 12 times 25 all divided by i, 0 0.05 over 12. Therefore, r equal to rm, 514 ringgit and 44 cents. And then the question also asks for the total amount of interest that will be paid. Question B, interest paid. Equal to R times N minus A. Okay, so R here is 514 ringgit and 44 cent times N. N is 12 times 25 minus A. So the value for interest paid is RM 66,332 N 0 cent.